Moving the tunnel liners for the Capilano filtration plant demands a big machine. In order to meet the challenge, Metro Vancouver has adapted a log stacker. It's a rig that served many years duty in the logging industry. This machine's 17 years old approximately, so it can go another 17 with good maintenance. The lower mainland has good air quality, and Metro Vancouver's air quality management plan has set clear strategies to keep improving the air we breathe. Recently, Metro Vancouver committed to reducing their own diesel particulate emissions by 75% by 2012. The impact on human health from diesel particulate is greater than for all other air contaminants combined. Diesel is the primary source of fine particulates in the region and poses serious health risks. 70% of that increased risk of cancer from air pollution can be attributed to diesel exhaust. There are other sources of air pollution, but that's the single most important source that contributes to our increased risk of cancer. It is only recently that research has demonstrated the impact that fine particulates have on human health. Health officials now are much more concerned about those very fine particulates because we know uh, that they can get deep into the lungs because they escape the normal mechanisms of clearance of the human body and because a lot of studies have now shown they're associated with both short-term serious health effects but also long-term effects such as risk for lung cancer. Diesel is not only a source of fine particulates but chemicals such as benzene and formaldehyde. The particulates act as a delivery mechanism. It may even be the combination of those fine particulates and those other uh, ca uh, cancer-causing chemicals because th those can absorb on the surface of the fine particulates. And when they're absorbed in the lung, they can then get into the bloodstream and have their effects. But the primary source of these diesel fine particulates is not the vehicles you see on the road. Modern emission standards mean that road vehicles are extremely clean. It is non-road vehicles that are the problem. And due to the longevity of these vehicles, it is a problem that isn't going away soon. The thing about diesel machines is they can be rebuilt and they can last for 30 years or more. No problem at all. This longevity means that non-road diesel engines won't be replaced quickly. And some regulation will be needed to protect public health. The only regulations that exist are for emissions from new machines and unfortunately most of the equipment that is being used in the constructions and uh, other industrial sectors is, is old and a lot of it predates any emission standards whatsoever. Diesel emissions come from many sources but marine and non-road engines are the biggest contributors in the Metro Vancouver region. 41% of diesel particulate matter comes from non-road engines. 43% comes from marine engines. Rail and road diesel engines each contribute 8%. But due to the proximity of non-road engines to people, this source of diesel is the greatest threat to human health. Marine diesel is being addressed by federal agencies, but the jurisdiction for non-road vehicles lies with Metro Vancouver. For something like the non-road sector, it makes sense for Metro Vancouver to have its own emission regulations because of the density of emissions and the density of, of people at risk. There are a number of ways to improve the emissions from existing diesel engines. Metro Vancouver's log stacker has been retrofitted with a diesel oxidation catalyst, which produces particulate matter and chemicals. Diesel filters can also be added to existing machines, reducing emissions by 95%. As well, repowering or replacing old engines means the new engines will meet modern emission standards. Regulations will be needed to encourage the use of these technologies, but any regulatory approach will begin with consultations with industry. Only before we recommend any regulation, we would need to consult with the people that would be affected by the regulation. We need to get their ideas and figure out what's the best way between us of solving this problem. Metro Vancouver's air quality management plan has three goals. Minimize the risk to public health from air pollution, improve visibility, and minimize Metro Vancouver's contribution to global climate change. Diesel emissions are the most harmful air contaminant for human health. They adversely affect visibility. And in fact, black carbon from diesel is a significant contributor to climate change.